Hey guys, what's up? I am here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Haikyuu to the Top on episode 3 or episode 10 of Haikyuu to the Top season 2, you know? This episode right here, man oh man, reminds me too much when it comes to the matches of Alba Josai and Shiro Torizawa, you know? Caught me crazy Mill knockers to think that, but seriously man, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> if anything else, let's just get this started. <clears throat> We have to it that one of our um one of our one of the players from Inarazaki is about to be subbing out a, fr a subbing out a teammate, you know. Of course, he's our number one. He's our number one in Inarazaki, obviously from the get go. Our freaking number one, our our freaking number one, the captain in Inarazaki. The the coach says he wants to increase like um the offensive attack in this kind of way, you know that kind of thing. And eventually, we get to see to it that um. When it came to Karasu trying to score a point, it looks like to me Suki messed that up pretty badly because he couldn't jump. But it was Kageyama's fault and says, hey, shut up, this is my fault, okay? Don't worry about it. And we see to it, of course, that eventually Suki will make the attack again, you know, etc. And they end up finally scoring a point, you know? Even though Inarazaki is about like um, a couple points ahead. Karasto is catching up little by little. Eventually, we get to see um, Azumane-san's serve. Oh my gosh, man! He made a very nice serve right there and reminded everyone why he was the he is the ace of the dang team, you know. And eventually, as time continues on in its own situation, we have to, of course, eventually. Um, that Azumai will make the next serve, and we see to it that the Atsumu twins or the Mia twins are were trying to make the minus temple, minus temple attack, you know. But unfortunately, it, it became a mess up, and their number one ends up having to like and pick it back up if, eventually, you know. But because like um our number one captain of Inarazaki ends up picking it back up, it will have to go on the other side because they already. <laughs> it had to go on the side of Karasuno, you know? And we see too that Daichi will make his spike hit. And of course, our number one, the number one from Inarazaki would try to get it. But unfortunately, it bounced off his hands and went out the court. And it's Karasuno's point. And etc, you know? And we see to it, of course, eventually... Um, eventually, they end up having to like um, catch up. With Inarazaki, and it, I think the score would become like at least 20 or 21, you know? Or they end up being getting ahead of Inarazaki, but Inarazaki will let, later on make the make their attack again, make their attack, make their attack obvious from the get go after like um, some stuff here and there, and Inarazaki will score back 22 to 21 eventually after like I'm getting a couple nice spikes in or shots in. But, you know, eventually. Eventually, we see to it, of course, like, um, Hinata was planning to touch the ball, but unfortunately for him, he did not see that, that Mi Mia Atsumu will later on create a freaking, would do a dump attack, you know? So, in other words, he just dumped the ball, and they end up, mi they end up missing it because he didn't see that coming, you know? Etc. Pretty much, like, Hinata wasn't able to, like, go um, get the ball since, the, since it was a crazy dump right away, you know? Eventually, we see to it that, um... Ojiro of Inarazaki will later on make a powerful will make a powerful serve to a point where um the ball will later on go on to the side of Inarazaki's court and Ginjama, which I think it's number he's our number five of Inarazaki, will later on spike it back down and they end up getting like what? A freaking like um match point. And we see too that everybody from the Mi Miyagi prefecture, that's Awa Josai, Shiro Torizawa, and some other former players go like we're like um, watching the match, seeing how freaking like um, tense this is, you know, and how freaking crazy dangerous of where it's coming right now. Eventually, there would be there will be a talk between Kageyama and Tanaka, and Tanaka tells Kageyama, "Hey, I want you to do this for me, okay? I want it's okay for you not to serve not to serve the ball to me if anything when the situation comes to it." But Kageyama tells Tanaka, "No, we need your attacks, okay?" Eventually, he will later on make the serve to Tanaka, even though, like, after he made one one that mess up, but Nishinoya managed to save his butt, you know? And then they, I think they managed to, like, um, make a crazy score eventually after, like, um, 
Kageyama Tobio ends up making a good serve to Tanaka and he ends up making a powerful, nice, clean, straight shot right right on the right on the court right there, dude. I'm like, oh my right almost almost inside the court, man. All I know is the ball hit hit between on the white line of the court and they managed to make the point. And right now they managed to like um Possibly catch up or to like or possibly cut ca possibly caught up and eventually like um might make a match point soon. Eventually we get to see Oi Cow in this episode, you know? He was just watching something and then he ends up going back to, on a run, you know, etc. And we see too that Kagiyama makes his serve and he ends up having to like uh, make a powerful, powerful ace like serve, you know? And we had to it that one of the Mia twins, Osamu, I believe, tried to get the ball from Kageyama's spike, spike attack, spike, spike sir. But unfortunately for him, the ball bounced off his arms all the way down to the other side of the court of Karasuno's outside court. I'm like, oh man, now that's what I call a crazy, crazy serve right there. And eventually, Kageyama will later on make a jump, jump float serve, and they end up having a mess up, mess up, and. End up receiving the ball, but we see to it that Hinata will let on get be given the ball after Inarazaki receives it, and they end up having to like um shot back it down, and later on the the, the score becomes twenty five with twenty four. Eventually, we see to it that we see our number twelve and fourteen, or two characters from Inarazaki's team, talk about how Tobio is a genius, and we see to it that our number one captain from Inarazaki ends up talking about how geniuses are, you know, blah blah blah. And he ends up explaining how he does it, how he does things from one to ten, while the Mia twins does something one to twenty. You know, I think I think when it came to the speech or the rant from our number one of Inarazaki, or Inarazaki's captain, he explains like it's. I think it's just through major hard work and determination, is something that um, is something that they have to do. It's not something they do. It's something that. They need to do it right away, you know. Just don't screw up. Just, just do it, you know. That kind of thing. Eventually, um, as time continues on, you know, we had to it, of course. Like, um, eventually, um, we see to it that Kagiyama will barely actually get the ball, but will get the ball and try to pass it to Hinata. But unfortunately for him, he messed it up, and Hinata will make a quick on his leg where he managed to put kick the ball onto the other side, and they end up scoring, you know. Scoring another point, and we see to it that it looks like to me this is a really tense match. Like I said, like um, the moment when Tanaka's attack got blocked, you know, and he Nishinoya saved it, and then you know Kageyama, yeah. Of course, like um, towards the end of the episode, we have to it that Mia Atsumu is actually moved by Shoyo, Shoyo's determination and skill, or Shoyo's determination, you know. And preview of next episode is called Monsters Ball, pretty much. It's literally called Monsters Ball. <laughs> so I don't know how this is gonna go, but one thing for sure, we are at the climax of the match, you know. I mean whoever wants it more or whoever is gonna mess this up is gonna be the determined determining factor. Both are physically and mentally tired. I could just tell. I mean, it reminds me too much when the first time Karasuno, when, when Karasuno ends up facing Alba Josai in season one, you know, and then like um, facing Alba Josai in season two, and then facing Shira Torizawa in season three, and now season four is their freaking craziest match against Inarazaki, who is called the number two, ranked number two for um, volleyball nationals, you know. But, you know, if you keep holding on to yesterday, what will you be tomorrow kind of thing? Which is something that they've been holding, that which they've been keeping themselves in check. I don't know how this is going to go, man. All I know is it's like really, really crazy tense. Seeing Inarazaki and Karasuno going at each other. Like, even though they made one point, the other side will make another point. Even when Inarazaki was about to make their match point and finish the job, but they were unable to. It's like... Battle of wills and mentality, like who's gonna drop it first, who's gonna mess it up first, kind of thing, you know. Oh man, I don't know what's really bound to happen, but oh my gosh, it's just 
Ah, looking forward to next episode, man. There's only there's only one more episode. There's only another episode, and the one after that, and it's game over, you know. Ah, so until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace out. Bye bye. Toot toot.